Hello everyone and welcome back to My Candid World. Today's video is going to be about dull skin, why you might have it, and ways you can maybe try and reverse it or repair your skin so that it is no longer dull. So casually keep diving into concrete. Now, dull skin is a bit of a tricky topic to talk about because there is no one reason as to why a person may or may not have dull skin. It's a combination of different skin conditions like anything from your environment to age. Naturally, as you age, your skin will get dull. Behavior, you know, clogged pores, the accumulation of like dead skin cells. There are a bunch of things that can be working together that can cause you to have dull skin. So if you really wanna get a more pinpointed reason as to why you specifically may have dull skin, I'd highly recommend talking to a dermatologist or someone who is licensed in skincare because obviously I am not licensed in skincare. I'm just giving information that I have, that I have studied or learned, but in no way am I a licensed skincare professional. Now, skin can lose its shine and become dull from things like slow cell turnover. You know, the cells that are on the top of your skin are staying there longer than they're supposed to rather than refreshing with new skin cells. Um, like I said, it can just be that the cells you do have there are dry, they're damaged, and because they're at the forefront, that's what you're seeing on your face. But of course, there's a number of ways you can try and repair your dull skin and try and get it to get back its shine, its, you know, its luminosity, its glow, as some people even say. Now, one of the number one things you can do is drink water. Being hydrated and staying hydrated can help if the reason for your dull skin is you're dehydrated and your skin isn't gaining enough moisture from your body, like internally. So, you know, I mean, you should always be drinking water and maybe if you haven't been drinking so much, this can be a reason as to why you do. Just a suggestion. And speaking of hydrating your skin, maybe you need to moisturize your skin two times a day. Um, that's what I do. I do a morning and nighttime moisturizing routine. I do a different moisturizer for each. Actually, no, I like currently I'm using the same one and maybe your skin isn't receiving enough moisture maybe you're drying it out and you need to be moisturizing it um there are a ton of different moisturizers out there and currently i'm using the 30 day a uh, miracle cream i cannot exactly remember the company right now but it is available on yes style and i will include the link in the bio below by the way this is not a sponsored video any products that i do mention um you know i'll just i'm just I'm recommending them because I like them and it is completely your choice whether you choose to use my link um, because I will make a small commission and you'll make a discount you'll get a discount off the sale but of course that still doesn't require you to use my link you can also just buy it yourself wherever you want earlier we also mentioned that double skin can be a result of dead skin buildup and the way to try and combat this is by exfoliating your skin regularly when it comes to exfoliation, as I've mentioned in previous skincare videos, there's either physical or chemical exfoliation. If you wanna learn more about chemical exfoliation, I have a video explaining AHAs and BHAs, which are two chemical exfoliants, so you may wanna check that video out. But as for physical exfoliation, let me know if you want a video going more in depth with that, but it can be anything from facial scrubs to a loofah or really abrasive things that you use on your skin. The reason you do want to exfoliate regularly is because you have to get that dead skin, that old skin off your face because it's going, it's not going to be shining. It's dead, it's dry, it's damaged. You want to continuously bring new fresh skin cells up to the surface so that your skin is constantly glowing and shining. I also mentioned how the environment can be a factor in your in your dull skin and this is also very true 
if you live in a very dry, low humidity area, then that may be what's drying out your skin and making it lose its shine. And other than moving, you can try and increase the humidity of where you are the most. Maybe if you're home a lot, like a lot of us are, you can get a humidifier or something like that. So that will make it that you have at least one place where you're at, where the humidity of the environment is much, much better than everywhere else. Other than that, there are a ton of other lifestyle and behavior changes you can do, like stop smoking. Smoking overall has a ton of negative effects on the body and dull skin is one of them. Um, I'm not gonna get into the science of it, but you can definitely Google how smoking affects the skin. There are a ton of sources online, so you can look into that if you're interested or even ask me if you want me to make a video on how smoking affects the skin. Talking more about actual skincare routines, um, using a cleansing oil and then a gentle cleanser can be a way to make sure you're gently cleaning your skin and you're not completely stripping it and leaving it dry because as we've mentioned in this video, if your skin is dry and damaged, it's not really gonna be shining and glowing and looking all, you know, the way you may want it to. Um, so the reason why people do recommend using like a two-step uh, you know cleansing routine is maybe you're wearing makeup and sunscreen the oil will help get most of that off and the gentle cleanser will help cleanse and refresh your skin and do everything else that it needs to be doing lastly you can consider adding a skin brightening serum to your skincare routine um, I actually currently have two in my routine and they're both from a Korean skincare brand that you can get on yes style and I guess the first one I would recommend is uh, the iUnique Black Snail Restore Serum. And, you know, as it says, it's good for powerful skin restore and brightening and wrinkle care. And as I mentioned before, this video is not sponsored. These are just the products that I actually use in my skincare routine. And if you use my link below, I'll make a small commission at no extra cost to you and you will actually receive a discount off of your order. So if you would like to, you know, try the product out yourself and also support me, that is an option for you. And besides the iUnique Black Snow um, Restore Serum, one I've been using tremendously is Dear Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop because it contains vitamin C. And if you guys didn't know, vitamin C is really, really amazing and powerful at brightening your skin. I don't know if you can see on my skin, it's, it's looking really shiny today. Like I said, they're both Korean brands. Um, and we do know that in a lot of aspects, Korean skincare is far, far ahead of ours. And so if you're looking for maybe skincare products to include in your regime, Brightening serums can be something that can help you with dull skin and a reminder that they work over time They're not going to immediately start working. I don't know if you can tell but in my serums like I Use two drops each time I use them So it goes down slowly and that means that you can buy one product and it will last you a very very long time So it's a very worth it purchase um, And I mean yeah, that's definitely one thing else you can add in if you're trying to help combat dull skin, but of course it's not a requirement. It's just another suggestion for something that can help. Lastly in this video, and something that people still do not do enough, wear sunscreen. The sun can do all kinds of skin damage to you, and it can do a lot of irreparable damage to the skin. And the easiest way to combat this and to fight against dull skin and other more serious things like melanoma and skin cancer is to wear a sunscreen, wear one that works for your skin and gives you the right amount of protection and reapply it. And also just be kind to your skin, give it some grace, give it some time. You know, maybe you're stressed out, maybe you're going through a lot. We're still in a pandemic and your skin is the largest organ on your body. It's a part of your body. It's going to feel the effects of what's going on around you. If you're stressed out, if you're sleep deprived, if you're feeling unhealthy, just not well and not it, your skin is going to reflect that um, because it is a part of you. So just give yourself some grace. Your skin is not going to look like 
all these celebrities who can afford dermatologists weekly visits weekly facials weekly checkups weekly this weekly that it's just going to do what it needs to do for your face do what it needs to do for your body and sometimes we just have to be accepting of that and try to work with it and improve it to the best of our ability but thank you so much if you've made it this far in the video um if this video informed you if you feel like it really gave you what you were looking for consider liking it consider commenting down below any suggestions you have and continue sharing this to a skincare junkie in your life who wanted to learn about dull skin and ways that they can maybe target it if they have dull skin themselves. Um, if you're interested in more skincare videos, you should definitely check out my skincare with Chelsea playlist where I have a lot of other skincare videos for you to check out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.